All right, welcome back, everybody. It's just now a quarter after four. Glad you can get up uh, with us early this morning. I know many of you are looking out the window. Told my kids last night when you get up in the morning, look out the window because it's going to be snowing and that rain is switching. Make it a rugby. Melody Bradley posting this photo on uh, on Facebook and uh, or online and look at the snow that's starting to stick to her deck. The grassy areas, the rooftops, the decks, they're going to accumulate the snow more than the main roads. You got to realize we've been in the 60s the last couple of days. The roads are warm, but Arctic air is settling on in. So we're going to keep you posted on that. Make sure you keep your photos coming on in. Cassie and I and the team will uh, try to put those on air as much as possible, but it helps to see what's really going on around East Tennessee in our region. If you have travel plans to our west, improving conditions as you get closer to Nashville and Memphis area as the storm is now working its way over East Tennessee. Uh, from now through seven o'clock, that is our timing of the majority of the snow. Whatever happens by seven basically is going to be done for the day. Uh, and then we'll have some lingering snow showers in the mountains through about nine or so. Uh, and then starting to see improving conditions throughout the day, albeit on the cold side. Really starting to fill in with that snow now. We're getting reports all the way from uh, the airport down into Maryville, Oak Ridge, up in the Fountain City areas, and uh, even points further to the north that the rain is mixing in with snow. We had some pretty good sleep for a time being, but now some big fat snowflakes. These are the kind of snowflakes that are gonna stick to everything because they're really wet. It's gonna be a pretty snow. Once the sun comes up, we'll actually see some sunshine today. By the end of the day, still think we'll have some lingering snow showers around or at least snow on the ground, maybe in grassy areas and whatnot due to the fact that it is just going to be plain cold. Cassie's going to talk about that here in a second. Here we go. We'll start the timeline. Four o'clock this morning. Look at the snow. Futurecast has a great handle. Through five o'clock, we're still going to get that enhancement. We've got our upper level jet stream cranking on through. That should provide extra lift in the atmosphere, meaning it's going to continue to snow uh, pretty good at a pretty good clip spec expecting an enhancement, some uh, more intensifying snow showers as we get into the five, six and seven o'clock hour. But you can see between seven or eight o'clock, it starts to exit its, uh, out of East Tennessee by nine. Most of it's gone except for the higher terrain where we're still going to squeeze out more snow showers through a good chunk of the morning hours. Sun will start to peak out as we get into the lunch hour. Abundant sunshine later on this afternoon. But that's when the cold air really begins to settle its way on in. So sunshine to end the day. Remember, we have that winter weather advisory until noon for the higher elevations. It runs until nine for the plateau in the northern valley. Uh, so we are going to continue to see, uh, to see wintry weather move its way in. All right, here are our snowfall totals. We're going to see a little bit more enhancement up along the ice 81 quarter, getting over into southwest Virginia. The foothills and mountains probably going to get that extra lift and a little bit more snow. But here around town, still looking at the possibility of a half an inch to up to to an inch and a half of snow. That's kind of what we're looking at for the day today. So mainly grassy areas, elevated surfaces, overpasses and bridges. Watch out. They could be a little bit on the icy side here this morning, but brutally cold weather. That is the forecast for the rest of the day today. We take you up in the Sevier County. It's starting to switch over there. Snow is falling, Cassie, as temperatures start to come down right now in Sevierville. It's 36 degrees. That's right. We're starting to see the flakes. there showing up on our uh, Five Oaks Parkway camera there and the roads notice are still doing all right at this point. But those are the areas in Sevier County in the foothills of Blunt County up in the cock and green counties. That's where that winter weather advisory is. That's where we could see maybe it's a few of those slick spots, especially on the overpasses and bridges up in those areas. So take it slow. Use that extra caution if you're going to be out and about this morning. Now the other half of the story besides the wintry weather are the temperatures. We're at 35 degrees right now in Knoxville, but already down to 29 in both Crossville and in Jamestown, only at 30 degrees in Huntsville. But then we have the wind factored into that and it makes it feel even cooler. The current wind speeds are sustained at 13 miles per hour in Knoxville, 10 in Maryville, gusting as high as 20 to 25 at times. And that makes it feel so much colder than it actually is. It feels like 20 in Jamestown and in Crossville feels like 26 in Knoxville and Maryville. So not only do you have to prepare for the potential of the wintry weather when you head out the door this morning, but also dress for these wind chills. Dress as if the temperatures are going to be in the 20s all day long, because even though the air temperature will be in the 30s, it's going to feel like the 20s throughout the entire afternoon. Temperatures will hold pretty steady through a lot of the day, and then once that sun goes down, there they go all the way down into the 20s with lows in the teens expected area wide. Wind chill staying in the 20s through the whole day today. And again, lows tonight. These could set records, folks. It's very early for us to be seeing temperatures this cold. We want you to be prepared. Now, the good news is this is a short term cold spell. 
So after today and after tomorrow morning, we do start a steady warming trend. Highs back in the 40s tomorrow with some sunshine. Back into the upper 40s to near 50 by Thursday and back into the low 50s by Friday and the weekend, which of course is good news if you're going to be heading out to that Garth Brooks concert on Saturday. We'll have more on your forecast coming up in just a little bit. For now, I'll send it back to you guys.